Hi everyone, welcome to Fiber Mall's Knowledge Hall. Today, we're going to introduce two types of NVIDIA high-end GPU cards, V100 and 800. They both have two variants. One is PCIe based, which can plug into any PCIe slot on the server. The other is SXM based, which is specially designed for NVIDIA's high-end GPU server, such as DJS 800 server. These two GPU cards can both communicate with the server CPU, network card, and other GPU cards, but they do it in different ways. Let's start with SXM-based GPU card. This is a GPU card that is integrated into DJS 800 server's main board, which contains eight GPU cards, six of which are heat sinks that cool down the GPU cards. The GPU card is directly connected to the main board through a pin, and it communicates with other GPU cards through six in switches, which are switches that enable direct interaction between GPU cards without going through the main board's PCIe channel. Let's take a look at this diagram that illustrates the communication method first. We see GPU 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to GPU 7, totaling 8 GPU cards, we also noticed that there are 6 in switches. They communicate through this, for example, GPU 0 to this NV switch, and then directly communicates with GPU 1. GPU 0 can also communicate with GPU 7 through this NV switch, in this way. It no longer needs to communicate through the PCIe switch above, of course. Our GPU card can also communicate with our network card through the PCIe switch above, for example. This 200 gig IB network card can communicate, and it can also communicate with this CPU. This is one of its implementation methods. In addition, this PCIe GPU card is through the PCIe slot on the motherboard, such as this 16 times PCIe. We just mentioned that the PCIe specification has gold fingers, which can be inserted into the PCIe slot. After that, it can communicate with the entire server, such as the CPU, the network card plugged into the server, and other GPU cards on the same server. Of course, this communication method is through C, and the rate is not so fast. So how do we implement the MBLINK connection like the SXM specification. NVIDIA has a small accessory called the NVLINK bridge. We usually insert two GPU cards side by side into the server, and then connect the NVLINK bridge to the GPU card, which can connect these two GPU cards together. To achieve mutual communication between these two GPU cards, compared with the SXM specification, the PCIe specification can only achieve mutual communication between two GPU cards. If a third or fourth is needed, then it must communicate through the PCIe below. This is one of its characteristics. That's all for today's introduction. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thank you for watching Fiber Mall's Knowledge Hall. See you next time.